What's up, YouTube? Booby on 4 h uh, In front of me, I've got the WE m &P. Uh This is the Toucan. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the full auto problem or the, the two-round burst that most people are having with this due to the fact that WE's molds were kind of bad on this. So I'm just going to dry fire here and I'll kind of see if I can replicate that problem. You also get that too. A dead trigger. There it goes. Did you see that? Well, I did it that one time there, but I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, to do the fix on that. So go ahead and remove your mag. Remove your slide. Now you're going to want to get into the uh, back of the, the lower here. Um, you're going to need a, a punch, a Phillips head screwdriver, a small one, and a file. All right, so go ahead and uh, release your hammer. Push this rear pin out right here. As soon as you push that pin out, remove the small Phillips screw located in the back here. And then you can pull your, I guess, your firing pin block out. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the valve locker here on the side out and the spring. Set that off to the side so I don't lose that. Now there's going to be two Phillips screws, one here and one here. Go ahead and remove those two screws out. This half of the, the block here will come apart. Alright, got those two screws out. Go ahead and separate this. Set that off on the side. Now what we're going to take our file to is the bottom half of this right here. We're going to take some material off right here so that this will engage and lock the hammer um, a little bit sooner. So that way the hammer locks and doesn't uh, do like a two round, three round burst. So we're going to remove that screw right here that holds that piece in. And then pop this piece out. Not sure what you want to call this. I guess this is the hammer sear. When you get that out, there's going to be a spring on it. I'm going to remove that spring for now so we don't lose that. I'm going to take note of how this is here. It's kind of curved here on top and flat on the bottom. Where it's flat is where we're going to take our file and file down on that. Now you're not going to want to take a lot of material off. If you take too much off, the metal over here is going to get really thin and could be prone to breaking and then you would just have a full auto gun which would not be safe because it would not stop shooting even after you let go of the trigger So it should look like that. Like I said, you're not going to want to take a lot off. Maybe half a millimeter, if that. Uh, reassemble. Pop your spring on the front of it. Now the front of the spring is going to go in a little square notch right here. Just kind of push it in and it will hold in right there. And then screw the screw in there. I'm going to assemble this two halves back together like so
make sure this all works. All right, I'm gonna install the valve locker on the side. And then reinstall this back into the frame. Push the rear pin in. This fell out. Let's go ahead and uh, push that fake pin back in. This little pin fell out of the frame. It's more like a plug. Alright, there you go. That's how you fill or fix the uh, full auto problem that the MMPs have. Same thing goes for XDMs and the MMP compacts. Alright, thanks for watching. If you guys have uh, any questions, post it in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys uh, have a, a better way of doing this or a different way of doing it, uh, I'm all open to that. Go ahead and uh, message me and let me know or post it down in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching. Murder.